Hello, welcome to the Spoon for Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I'm going to show you how to make all-purpose Asian stir-fry sauce or sauce pad a n e k p a s o n Okay, so the all-purpose sauce today is gonna make a lot of things easier for you when you stir-fry. Okay, so I'm gonna do everything with the spoon today. So first, I'm going to go with the oil sauce. I'm g o i n g to use 10 tablespoon oil sauce. Gonna put uh, in the pot, go in the little pot like this. And the recipe you can double it if you love stir fry or you do a stir fry a lot because um, it it can save in refrigerator for a month or you will finish this before <laughs> before a month anyway. So three. Right, first the 10 tablespoon the oil salt and the second 10 tablespoon the seasoning soy sauce. If you don't have seasoning soy sauce, you can just use the regular soy sauce. I will use 10 tablespoon too. One. Okay, next I will use two tablespoon black soy sauce. So black soy sauce, it will help you with the color, caramelize the color. And little taste better too. All right, so two tablespoon back soy sauce. Okay, and next I will use two teaspoon chicken bouillon. Okay. Two teaspoon. One. Two teaspoon. Okay, and next I will use two teaspoon the garlic powder. If you don't like garlic, just skip this one. Or you just like the fresh garlic when you're cooking, just skip this one, okay? But this will make a lot easy. So I use two teaspoons. All right, and next it will be two teaspoon black pepper. Oh, this way, <laughs> two teaspoon black pepper. One, two. All right. Okay, and next for balance all this salt in it. Um, because everything has salt in it, so we will balance the salt in it with the sugar. So I will use 10 teaspoon sugar. One, two, three, four. Okay, and last gonna be the five tablespoon water, and then I gonna mix them um, until everything the uh, will combine a little bit before we um, go cooking. All right, and now all the sauce and mix will combine with all the sugar and powder. So now we're gonna put this on stove and let them boil so everything can uh, keep it longer. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the stove to medium heat and we're gonna bring the sauce to be boiled so we can keep it longer. And also for the recipe, you can double it if you gonna using a lot. And also when we wait for the sauce to be boiled, the reason why the um, we use the all-purpose stir-fry sauce so everyone can cook because sometimes not only you cooking, sometimes your husband want to cook or your kid want to cook. Everybody can cook and, and then the recipe gonna come out taste similar. So, so that's why we call this all purpose stir fry sauce. And also you even can use this stir fry sauce for marinade if it, you want it to. It can be marinade too. And sometimes you only use one tablespoon, two tablespoon, that's it, that's all. I'm gonna give you example today with the, my vegetable from the refrigerator, whatever you have, you can stir fry everything and it's gonna taste good. Okay, so the salt is getting, for the medium heat, they're getting boiled really fast, so not walk away from this. Okay, so now when they start getting boiled, I'm gonna um, stir and continue cook them for few more minutes and we're going to pour this in the jar and I will give you example what stir fry that I'm going to use this salt for. Right, so now I'm going to store all my salt in the jar. Slowly pour. Still nice and hot, and this smell really good. Um, I not add the fish sauce 
because normal sometimes I'm Thai cooking I not add the fish sauce because I want this sauce to be um, for most of the food because if I add fish sauce sometimes it's a fishy for some food that we not really put fish sauce into it the fish sauce if you like to have a little bit of fish sauce for some food um, the need fish sauce we can add fish sauce on that recipe but this is all purpose so I want to put every drop into the jar <laughs> so so this is one recipe that I give you it will be about this much so and you this is, can be a lot of stir fry and if you like this you can double the recipe alright so now special I gonna show you um, to make an easy stir fry and to use this sauce okay so this gonna be easy and simple stir fry that I'm going to show you alright so now I turn on the heat it's really high the high high heat because I want my wok to getting really hot so now I'm gonna turn down a little bit after my wok is really hot because uh, first I have the meat I have the bacon in the refrigerator so I'm going to use bacon so I use 8 out bacon I didn't put any vegetable oil or anything because the, the bacon is for getting all the oil from the bacon I turn back the heat, up the heat a little bit. All right. I'm gonna wait for just about like 30 seconds until the bacon is just on one side before I start stirring. All right, so now I'm gonna start mixing our bacon. Now the oil uh, started to coming out a little bit from the bacon. This is a low sodium bacon, so they're not salty. Okay, if you want to use the bacon for the stir fry like this, it's better to use the no, no salty bacon. Alright, so now the oil starting coming out from the bacon. I'm going to add the um, two cup garlic. And remember, inside the sauce already have garlic. So the garlic powder, if you didn't want a more garlicky flavor, you don't have to add the fresh garlic. Even gonna be easier for you. But for me and for the cameraman, we both love garlic. We can eat a lot of garlic, so I prefer like put the fresh garlic a little bit. You can put the fresh garlic, fresh ginger to add a more flavor into your sauce when you cook. But uh, we didn't want to put the fresh garlic inside the sauce because the sauce is um, not gonna save longer. If you add the garlic powder, the sauce is, can save longer. Okay, now my bacon and garlic start getting crispy and I have a lot of extra oil so I'm going to remove a little bit of oil I mean if you don't mind you don't have to but this is a lot of oil so I'm just gonna remove a little bit of oil okay okay and now I'm going to put our vegetables so now I have the cabbage and carrots okay, I cut the carrots very thin so they can be um, easier to cook and for the bacon, if you don't like the crispy, you like the soft bacon, you don't have to cook long until we, until we say meat. But for me and the cameraman, we like the, the crispy bacon. Okay. So, and also, I'm going to put the, some mushroom. This is what I have in the refrigerator. Now we're going to turn up all the heat tight again and keep them stir fry on the vegetable about one minute before I add the sauce all right and now after one minute when you stir the vegetable now we're going to add two tablespoons the hour stir fry sauce two tablespoons right just put two tablespoons first and then you can taste if you need more you can put more later and give them the stir stir in the high heat Mmm, smells so good already. Look at this. See how easy. Okay, and now I'm going to taste our stir fry. If we need more sauce or not. Mmm, it's perfect. For this ratio, two servings for two tablespoons. One serving for one tablespoon. Okay, and now that's it. Our stir fry is done. Look at that, how easy, simple, and quick. 
Okay, so now the baby want to be next to me, so that's why I have the baby with me. So now all our stuff I done, I have rice I, with me. Okay, let's see. Look, we like the crispy bacon. Oh, I'm going to try with rice because <laughs> I eat almost everything with rice. So I only have one hand right now, so it's not going to be easy, but I can't wait to try. Mmm. The salt, perfect. It's not look like going to be sweet when I put the sugar, but it's not. It's but the salt in it balance out the sweet. She want to have some, <laughs> okay. And very quick and easy. Everybody can cook. Everybody can do stir fry. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. If you like the video and recipe, please give us a thumb up, subscribe. And you will see me for the next little pee. Thank you. Bye. Say bye, Lily. Bye. <laughs> Mwah.